Hey Moonbeams, Donna Lynn here. This is me doing one of my first spirit art intuitive paintings. Um, I just opened up a new canvas panel and now I'm taking the Saran Rep cling film <laughs> stuff off of my leftover paint from my Evolve Artist projects or homework and now I'm deciding what I'm going to do next this is my solvent to clean my brushes and we are getting ready to get started first I'm going to add a little bit of um, old Holland what is that stuff called <laughs> thinner basically to just make sure my paints are still fluid because it has been a couple days all right ready to go so I'm starting with my darkest colors and in oils like acrylics you want to go from dark to light so that's what we got going on here speed it up a bit for you throughout the video just so it won't be too long actually I really kind of liked how it came out after I had the canvas full of paint, it looks really nice. So I'm practicing some of my brush strokes that I learned. Now I'm cleaning off the big brush because I'm going to move down to smaller brush. Actually, also, you want to start with your biggest brushes. And move down. All right, now we're going to a lighter color, as you can see. So I'm just going to blend and fill in all that white canvas. Important to clean your brushes between colors or just so the color that you're using doesn't get muddy with the other colors. Here we go so far you can see some layers building. <laughs> Alright next I'm actually looking at the painting to see what I see. Like where does the painting want me to add something so I'm putting these marks in not knowing what I'm doing really I'm just kind of feeling my way through turn it to see if I see anything and then I do see what looks to me to be a profile so I'm just marking that in now adding you know some hair she has locks and then here I just you know I'm still looking so if you see me pause for like a little while and I'm not painting, even though it's sped up, you can tell I'm just kind of figuring it out. Now I'm just kind of wanting to make the areas stand out more, adding some highlights and such. There's another view for you. So I'm almost finished at this point. looking around to make sure I got all the highlights in. It's really important to have your dark darks and your light lights. So here's the finished product. I hope you enjoy. 